hi guys this week is so hot and i think you know what's happening around the world the superpower is having the election and the reaction is what i'm just really waiting to see if trump wins or if biden wins and a few things just to highlight from this election is uh, there are some changes that uh, the trump administration has made for example pulling out of the climate change um, france uh, docket then um, huawei being removed from android then having 5g Huawei not installing 5G in the US. There's a lot, there, there are a lot of things that have happened. And my question is, if Biden wins, do you think he'll be able to get these elements back to the system? For example, the 5G. Because Huawei was installing 5G in the US until Trump stopped it. Then uh, Android. Android was and in Huawei was pulled out of Andre. Then the climate change, which everybody is crying about, there is fear how the world is changing, the weather patterns, everything. And you see these big countries, they always support those kind of initiatives like um, uh, helping uh, pollution control and everything that will make our environment clean and good for us as humans so do you think in your right senses this uh, kind of uh, this will be back because once the document has been signed i don't know if it will be allowed to go back and you see huawei has been able to people don't know but huawei for me i feel like they have lost um, a lot of revenues when this happened because these guys were investing in like Huawei was the first fastest uh, growing company that came to overtake Samsung when it comes to uh, uh, investing in technology and that was so 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 huge for them because there's some documents that people don't know we have a summit that allows these technology companies to come together and share revenues that will be able to make money that will be able to come up with new technology ideas that will be invested in phones tvs and all those kind of stuff but then if you look around things have been changing things have turned around and china you if you know china with us they haven't they have not been having good uh, good relationship for the past four years or five years and this has really also affected them if look at the production when trump reduced taxes many companies went back to us for production because before the production costs in us were so high so people had to shift to china i don't know if apple have have gone back to us because most of their assembling happens in china most of their production happens happens in china so those are some of the few elements that have affected um the china market and the u.s market then if you come to stocks and market exchange you see for the past few days if you check out the japanese yen it hasn't been trending very good and elections for example in u.s they are so big in the stock market people can't risk their money because they know they'll make losses anybody who you don't know which side will go because if biden wins and he increases tax then you know your money will have to be taxed more so you have to hold you don't have to trade you have to keep uh, looking at the markets and those ones are some of the key areas that uh, you look into then two days ago bezos was, was sold his shares how many around three billion yes because at the moment if you check at his value he's won 187 point something billion from 200 so this election is creating an um, an environment that people are fearing so as you from other country do you think when uh, trump or biden wins changes will be there and do you think this kind of election, if it happens, because you see Trump 
I think if Trump doesn't win, for, uh, he'll be the first president not to serve two terms since 1992. Uh, since 1992, people have been going for two terms, two terms, two terms. So there will be a lot of questions and the administration will have to look at the transition and everything that happens. So the changes, the atmosphere, the environment and the legal immigration of people, the way Trump will had put those structures, there will be a lot of things that will happen. And all these things, if they happen, you know there are implications. If you see, uh, there's some positive side of Trump and this negative sides of Trump. For example, in, in employment rate, Trump, like he had the lowest 4%, but what will Biden be able to take 4% to 1%? Because that's hard. You see, if you take an employment rate to 1%, it means that each, like only a few Americans will be unemployed. And that one, it requires magic. Okay, then you look at the tax because uh, Trump had reduced uh, tax on things and so people were able to manufacture things within the country. So Biden from his, um, I think I read somewhere where he says that building an economy, you don't need to uh, cut off tax. There's other structures that you can do. So does it mean he will increase the tax back to, I don't know, their market rate for taxing? compared to ours, but what are some of the things that you see can go back if Biden wins? Because you see there's only a few things that is remaining. By the time I upload this video, they will be a winner. So at the moment, I normally do my videos. I normally upload my videos on Monday. So this Friday, and you see from the numbers, Biden has 264 and it's only remaining Pennsylvania. Or Georgia so anytime he wins on those actually he won on Georgia so it's only that state that's remaining or Nevada so if he wins there he's automatically the US president so by the time I upload this video he'll be the president and if he's the president will those things that Trump had removed will they be brought back to the system or they will not be just share your comments Keep watching, be happy, and let's fight poverty. It's your boy Alan Obi, the billionaire. Please don't so f don't forget don't forget to subscribe here. I know it's it takes a lot of energy to do. It takes your time. It takes your money. People don't know when they buy bundles. They don't know that they are spending. But for me, I feel I feel you. So please don't forget to subscribe here just by supporting me and you feel if you feel this content is relevant share if you share then we shall grow so boy will be the billionaire peace